praise in that song unto the land of perfect day. Doesn't that mean a little bit more to you than it maybe did last year at this time? We know there is coming a land a perfect day. There will be no more night. No more shadows. No more unknowns. No more imperfections. No more struggle. No more sickness. No more sorrow. No more sin. No more Satan. No more virus. No more economic struggle. No struggle at all. The land of perfect day. That land will dawn for us and for all who believe on Christ as Savior. It's not coming to the rest. That day is going to be a day of sorrow to those who are unbelieving. But to the believers in Christ, it will be a perfect, perfect day. Well, we're coming to you the Sunday before Christmas. It came to our attention that several churches that we are aware of and friends with are not able to have church today, the Sunday before Christmas, because of an outbreak or an exposure in their midst, in their church. And so we wanted to come to you to kind of fill just a little bit of that Sunday before Christmas void. We've always thought of this as Christmas Sunday, the Sunday before Christmas, always been one of our favorite times to be in church. We were in our home church this morning. Our pastor, Brother Benny Sutherland, taught Sunday school. It was wonderful. Yes. In fact, it was so good that there was an altar service just compelled by the Spirit of the Lord. And some came and prayed and spent time before the Lord, really pouring their heart out. And man, it was awesome. What a day. What a day to get saved. What a day to dedicate your life to, to Christ. Better than Christmas Sunday. And uh, so we had a great service this morning. We came home just enthused and encouraged in the Lord. And we set up here in Odie's Beach Cottage. This is a different view than you've ever seen in our services before. Uh, Odie's got some of her Christmas decorations up. I don't know if you can see them or not. But uh, we're just set up here for a few moments. Odie's going to sing a song. I've got a few words I'd like to say, and then we'll let you go. Thank you for joining us for just a few minutes on Christmas Sunday. Odie, I want you to sing this song from your heart. Now, we're in the midst of our 12 days of Christmas. I think this is day number seven. So we've got several more days to go, a different song every day. So we've already, we've already sang for you most of the Christmas songs we know, and a few of them we made up right. on the spot. Yeah. But this song, the Isaacs recorded this several years ago. It's one of my favorite Christmas songs. It's... Uh, Man, it's, it's right on point. And uh, I, I want Odie to just sing it from her heart. Sing it, Odie. It was not a silent night. Sing it, baby. There was blood on the ground. You could hear a in the alleyway that night on the streets of David's town. And the stable was not
This is certainly not his only prophecy, but it is significant. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince peace. Wow, what an amazing prophecy. God is coming to man as a child, as a son, and the government of the whole world shall be upon his shoulder. Listen, if you're tore up right now about all that's going on in government, God's got this. It's on his shoulder. The government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. What wonderful names. It's really hard to take one of those out, separate it from all the others. But let me look just for a moment at Mighty God. Isaiah, seeing this event, taking place hundreds of years before, says, that baby is the mighty God. <laughs> That's a pretty ambitious name to name your child. My parents named me, my first name's after my dad, Carl, Carl David, and they called me Davy. I don't suppose I was named after David Crockett, I kind of took him as my namesake, but probably not. Certainly not Davy Jones, but you know, <laughs> I, I, I acted like him a lot, like a monkey. <laughs> I liked you. <laughs> yeah. But parents that give their kids a name to live up to. I've got some dear friends in, in Nigeria and they named their firstborn Livingstone, like David Livingstone, the, the missionary. And then they named a son Holiness and a daughter Righteousness and a baby named Godliness. And we met another young man over there named uh, Man of God. Well, what names to live up to? It's going to, hard, it's going to be hard for those kids to be a bank robber. Hey, what's your name there in the mug shop? Righteousness? Holiness? No, you don't want to. You don't, you don't want to not live up to that name. But what about this name? That baby in the manger? Mighty God. Mighty, oh, wonderful. Yeah, every baby's wonderful. Counselor, well, that's, that's noble. Prince of Peace, that's amazing. Mighty God. Everlasting Father in the manger. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, wonderful. Counselor, mighty mighty God, but that's who he is. And we get a glimpse of it even as he's in the manger. He's mighty to consider. What kind of God would consider coming to earth as one of his creation? 
All the pagan gods that have been worshipped down through time and the pagan gods that are still being worshipped now, they don't. Their followers never even dream of their God lowering themselves to, to humanity. The ancient gods of Greek and Roman mythology, they were, they were always angry, always trying to destroy. And the people were always trying to appease them to keep them from destroying. We still have religions now where people serve their God to keep their God from destroying them. Our God, mighty God, was mighty to consider. Consider a way to come that no one else would have thought of. He could have came and ruled this world. He could have came and destroyed this world. He could have came and sat on a throne, a golden throne, and owned everything and owned everyone. But he considered a way to save humanity was to become one with humanity. He considered if I could send my son to be born in a manger, in a stable, the witnesses of that birth would be livestock. The first visitors would be lowly shepherds. The mom and dad would be unknowns. Nobody famous. What a mighty God to consider that. That Christ would come as a baby, 100% human, yet 100% God. You say that, that math doesn't work out. No, God's math never does work out, but it's still true. Mighty God to consider humanity yes. so much that he would be mighty to come down to us. Mighty to consider and mighty to come. Oh, thank God Christ came yes. for us. He came for the, the addicted. He came for the abused. He came for the angry. He came for the hated. He came for the hateful. He came for the liar. Oh, yes, he did. He came for the lowest of mankind. He came for man. Consider this, Paul said, that though he was rich, for your sakes, he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. The Son of God, the only begotten Son of God became the Son of Man so that the sons of men, that's, that's me and you, might become sons of God. Oh, hallelujah. Mighty God to consider and mighty God to come. But what did he come for? He is mighty to consider mighty to come and mighty to cleanse. For if we ever needed anything, we need a cleansing. Oh, yes, we do. Humanity is so stained with sin. 6,000 years of sin. It's a stain on humanity that cannot be erased. You can't outlive it. You can't you can't rise above it. You can't tunnel underneath of it. You can't get around the, the barriers that 6,000 years of sin have set up. We're stained. There's no way to cleanse it. No soap, no program, no pill. Nothing can erase that stain but the blood of Jesus Christ shed on Calvary. He is mighty God. Isaiah looked down hundreds of years ahead of time. He's mighty to cleanse. That's the cleansing agent. Right there in the manger, wrapped in rags, clean rags, swaddling clothes. Born to a virgin and a very confused dad. 
That's the cleansing agent. Yes. That little baby will cleanse the whole world. He's mighty to cleanse. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. What an insight. Years and years before that baby, Isaiah seizing in a vision, in a dream, some way he, this is revealed to him. That, that baby is mighty God. Do you need a mighty God? I do. I do. I need a mighty God. And I have one. His name is Jesus. Well, Isaiah says his name is wonderful. Counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. That's my God. It's your God. Nothing like the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray just a moment. Father, thank you, Lord, for your goodness and mercy. Thank you, Lord, for Christmas. And, and we know and we understand, Lord, and I know somebody's going to point it out. We don't know when Jesus was born on the calendar, and we don't. We don't. Not much chance that he was born on December 25th. That's the day the world celebrates. And that's the day we celebrate. The birth of our Savior. Mighty mighty God that left divinity and took on humanity, left royalty and took on dust. Oh God, our Savior, we thank you for it, Lord. You are wonderful. You are counselor. You are mighty God. Lord, be God to your people. There are people watching right now that are sick. Some of them sick with COVID, others sick with other things. They need a healing touch. God, be mighty God to heal right here. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I feel the unction of your spirit in this place, Lord. Be mighty God to heal someone, Lord, right now. Mighty to save, mighty to deliver, mighty to break chains. And we can't humanly break. Mighty to put families back together. Minds back together. Mighty, Lord, to sustain churches in this time of torment. Lord, to sustain individuals. Mighty power, Lord, to give peace where peace is absent. Lord, we believe it. In the name of Jesus, you are mighty Thank you for considering us. Thank you for coming to us. Thank you for cleansing us. In the name of Jesus. Sing a little bit, Kelly Jo.